Hi everyone, it's NS here. Welcome to another episode. This week we're in Brentwood, California and about to tour this futuristic mono home right behind me. I know there's not much to see right behind me, but this home consists of three levels seamlessly built into the hillside and the house itself has a very unique futuristic architecture. So I'm very excited for today's tour. Now specs on this home, we got five bedrooms, seven full baths, two half baths, 8,497 square feet of interior space built on a 36,209 square foot lot. And this property is currently on the market for $15,900,000. As always, we will leave more information about the property down in the description. And before we start our tour, I wanna to thank the listing agent, Santiago Arana, for allowing us to tour his amazing listing. Now let's begin our tour. From the street level, we have this door opening up to the property. And as we go in, we have the walkway taking us up to the front entry. And on my right hand side, we have the additional gate opening up to the driveway, which leads us to the three car garage. Right on top of the three car garage, we have the solar panels for this home. And instead of going with some sort of a concrete finish on the driveway, they went with this AstroTurf design, which is really unique. We have the entry here, which we will tour in a bit. And as we go in, the same Astro Turf driveway continues. We have the stairs taking us up to the observation deck. Again, we'll tour that later. And we have the secondary gate right here opening up to the motor court. You can probably park 10 to 12 cars here. Property is nicely hedged. It's super private. And from here, we can get a peek of the architectural lines of this home. We have beautiful roof lines, observation deck, a lot of glass railings, board from concrete walls and smooth stucco finish. Again, this house is a very unique architecture. We're gonna see more of that once we get inside of the property. Lastly, we have this side yard area over here where we have the pool set up, barbecue area, outdoor dining, all that. We'll tour that later in the video. Now let's go to the entry. So now we're back at the entry. We have stained concrete floors here and the stairs taking us down to the entry of the home. By the way, I just realized even the three car garage has transit windows. And as we go down, we have these beautiful board from concrete walls amazing roof lines, a lot of transit windows with different angles. And as we go down, we have water feature on each side of the staircase, smooth stucco walls and the glass entry. Now let's go inside. All right, everyone, this glass pivot door opens up to the entry. We also have stained concrete floors on this level as well. And the architectural details that we saw on the exterior with like this uh, board from concrete wall is also brought to the interiors. And right behind me, smooth stucco wall is also brought in to the entry of the home. Right above me, we have this massive glass roof, bringing a ton of natural light, serving as a skylight for this level. And we even have uh, transom windows on that side, very spacious. And right in front of me, we have a massive picture window with amazing views. Now, we're on the third floor of this home where we have the common areas, living room, kitchen. Right below us, we have all the bedrooms. And the first floor, we have the movie theater. So, let's go this way first. We have this hallway opening up, leading us to the three-car garage that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. And as we go in, right in front of us, we have the formal dining room area. We have table for eight here, nice and open space. Beautiful ceiling treatment with these wood panels, as well as the chandelier. And this dining area is all focused towards this space where we have this floor to ceiling picture window design with a sculpture on the exterior. So it's a nice view to look at, it's something different. And this space is also kind of separated from the formal living room area by this bar set up right in the center. And before we leave this section, I wanna point out the floors here. Although we have stained concrete floors, they kind of recessed in this uh, hardwood floor section right here where we have the table and it has a nice herringbone pattern. As we go down, we have the sunken bar area right here, all open shelving. It's clad with marble, which is again, kind of a unique design element. Mikey, can we get a close up? There are a couple cool details in this bar. Check this out. That's where you hold your ice, which is kind of cool. They have a nice little cap for it. 
I would have uh, never noticed that. That blends right in there. That's why I'm here for, Mikey. I find these details. That's there right. you go. Um, we got some uh, wine fridge here, our favorite ice maker, another fridge on this side. Unique uh, little bar sink here. It's a nice cozy setup. We have the bar seating on the other side. Again, dividing the formal dining room area from the formal living room. As soon as we walk in here, we have the same hardwood floors, again, in the herringbone pattern, also here. And just like the entry, they brought in the smooth stucco element to this room, and we have the fireplace right here. This one is an ethanol fireplace, so it's environmentally friendly. I also wanted to mention that as well. And as we continue, we have the seating area right here, but before I talk about that, I wanna talk about this art piece right here. Mikey, can we get a close up? How do I even explain this? This is really cool. This is the first thing I noticed when we walked in. You know how they do this in us? How? Uh, I assume this is uh, By the way, does it even show up on the camera the way we see it? Yeah, yeah, it does. But I assume this is, uh, what's it called? Two-sided, two-way glass. Okay. And then uh, a mirror on the other side. So it's basically bouncing the reflections of the mirror off, but we can see in. So it's, it's, it's actually pretty easy to make, but... Uh, it goes to the infinity, and I don't know if you realize, it kind of has a curvature too, as you look deep inside of the sculpture. Yeah, and it kind of, weirdly enough, gives the room this uh, feeling make, that it has way more space. Exactly, makes the room feel more spacious. Makes it look like there's this huge opening here. Uh, so it's a cool little art piece, I wanted to mention that. And right here, we have the formal living room area, comfortable seating, it's a spacious room. What I like about this space is, I feel like this room is kind of concentrated. It's all about hanging out on this side of the home. You know, we have the seating area, bar, dining area here. This is your formal entertainment space. But to top it all off, we have this beautiful corner glass detail where you can kind of see most of the home's architecture, get a peek of the backyard. And to complement that, you can actually walk outside because there's a balcony space right here where you can enjoy the views, get some fresh air. Now let's go back in. Let me close this. Now let's go back to the entry of the home so we can tour the family room, kitchen, all that good stuff. As we come back to the entry, before I take you guys to the kitchen, I wanna talk about this wall design. Obviously we have beautiful Italian marble, perfectly book matched, kind of breaking the industrial design of the home and bringing some warmth and texture. What's cool about this, wall is that right on top of it, it's actually not uh, joining to the ceiling. There's a nice gap in between because they wanted natural light to travel between each rooms. I'll explain more on that once we tour the kitchen. We have the staircase design going down to the lower level. Same board form concrete wall. We can see the other side that actually continues to the lower level. This house has just a phenomenal architecture. I'm so excited. All right, powder room. It has a very unique design with this curved wall modern pedestal sink. We have the toilet right behind us. It's conveniently located off of the entry. And right here, we have a bit of a coat closet storage space. Now, let's go back to the entry. Again, the same marble wall that I just talked about. Also, we have another pivot door right here opening up to the balcony on this level. We'll tour that later. So this home has a very modern architecture. We're gonna see a lot of sharp lines, concrete finishes, glass walls and steel elements. And speaking of steel elements, we have the exposed columns and we're gonna see a lot more of these throughout the home. Now, right in front of me, we have the kitchen and these stairs takes us to the family room which opens up to the side yard of this property. Let's start with the kitchen first. We have flat panel cabinetry throughout, a lot of natural stone. We have this unique island design right in the center. And on this side, we have the built-in cabinetry, but it's kind of a shallow design, which is kind of unique, allows you to see the living room from the kitchen, vice versa. It also serves as a countertop. We have the built-in appliances here, warming drawers, we love these, right? And to top it all off, this is another detail I really liked. Mikey, can we get a close-up? They have the plugs inside of the cabinet. A cabinetry. little like appliance cabinet? Mm-hmm. I like that. So everything looks seamless and paneled in. As we look this way, we have more cabinetry, nice contrasting countertops, and the back marble wall that I talked about, they brought the same marble all the way in here. By the way, I just realized they also have a exposed steel column here. Actually, that makes me think. They had to fabricate around it. Yeah. You wanna check out the drawer? Let's see. You see, they had to fabricate know, around that. I know you love when they, uh, when they 
make those custom drawer designs. I love it. I love making little designs like that. You even get a little TV in your kitchen, which is a nice amenity to have. We have the sink right here. Like I mentioned earlier, that wall being shallow, that allows natural light from that entry to come in even to this space, which is a nice detail to have. Nice open backsplash design. We have the vent here, gas cooktop, um, paneled fridge and freezer. And of course, Island has a secondary uh, kitchen sink, more cabinetry. I think dishwasher is right here. Now, as we continue, this door opens up to the pantry space. Overall, this is a really unique kitchen design, and I love how this both spaces are kind of connected to each other. It's all open. Now, as we take the stairs, we're at the family room now. They have a nice built-in dining area over here with the natural stone countertops. On the back, we have a neon light design that reminds me of David's clickbait sign, but in this case, it's trust the process. You gotta trust the process. You gotta. More built-ins, a little bit of a game table here, and now let's talk about the family room itself. We got plenty of seating areas, a lot of furniture in this room, but before I kind of, I guess, let me cover the fundamentals first. Fireplace, TV, stucco wall, but Mikey, let's pan up to the ceiling. It's all clad with these wood panels. Of course, we have the recessed lights and built-in speakers, but what's so unique about this section of the home is the roof line. It's kind of tapering towards the kitchen area, and we have so many transom windows, especially from my angle, Mike. I don't know if we can get it. All these transom windows, sloping lines, glass doors that stacks and opens up. It's so unique and uh, such a bold design, especially in the living room, you really see the whole architecture of this home. Yeah, I feel like uh, from any angle in this house, when I'm pointing the camera at you, there's just these crazy angles, lines, uh, it's just really cool look. Yeah, I mean, I totally agree. I think the home has a very timeless design and I think it has a lot to do with the finishes that they use, like the concrete floors, concrete walls, steel elements and walls of glass. And speaking of concrete, these floors can be also heated and cooled to kind of complement the air conditioning of this home. And, you know, overall, it's a nice open space. You have your fireplace, cozy seating and walls of glass opening up to the side yard, this kind of outdoor space that this home has so let's stack these doors up start on this side nice and easy it's a lot of pocket doors a lot of pocket doors and there you go also while we're at the staircase i have to show this detail you ready mikey you know what this is let's see i'm having a hard time seeing it on camera let me come down here this home has central vacuum system. So you just connect the hose here and you're good to go. Uh, I'm really curious how it knows once you've connected the hose, it's just kick on automatically. I was wondering the same thing. There are these brass contact points here. So I'm assuming once you connect the hose, those contact points lets the system know and vacuum kicks in. Yeah, it's really cool. We've never seen that before. Yeah, it's a, it's a cool detail. All right, now let's go up the stairs and let's pocket these glass doors and open up this whole living room to this side yard. By the way, because we have this exposed steel column, it allows this corner to be open. And I mean, Mikey, can we just go back a little bit and show how incredible this living room looks? Not to mention we have the transit windows above and automatic shades also. I just realized we forgot to mention that. Yeah, it's really cool. It just looks like a spaceship almost. It's almost very right? very futuristic. So futuristic. It's like 30 years ahead of his time. Yeah. Now, this family room opens up to this patio space here. We have the infinity edge pool right there. But first, before we go to the deck space, I want to talk about this staircase design. So they brought in the board from concrete wall here and right at the middle landing, it's it pretty much cantilevers. This staircase from the outside looks super cool. And we have the same stone steps, all glass railing. I wanted to mention that. This staircase takes you down to the second floor and eventually all the way to the backyard. Now, let's go up through this deck space. We have a nice outdoor seating area here with a gas fire pit, amazing views, all glass railing. And we have more elevation here, your outdoor dining area, and of course, your outdoor kitchen is here. You have a dishwasher, fridge, drawers, everything. Nice countertops. And as we go up, now we're at the pool level. Outdoor lounging area. And I mean, this pool is incredible. I wanna say it's probably 40 feet in length. 
and we have the deep end over here i'm assuming it's probably about 10 feet in depth nice infinity edge focus towards the views and we have the spa on that side and while we're here let's just tour the whole backyard this property is nicely hedged so it's super private and as we come here, we have a little bit of a putting green on this side. And that's kind of the entry that we talked about. Before we go there, down below us, we have the outdoor barbecue set up. We can get a closer look at the spa, more outdoor seating here. And this is the covered patio space. They got two space heaters, built-in speakers, recessed lights. And in case you wanna uh, get some shade here, you can actually use the curtains to close it all up. Nice, comfortable seating. Your outdoor TV is here. I really like these uh, stainless steel kitchen, outdoor kitchen design here. Of course, we have the refrigerator drawers, concrete countertops with a sink design. As we go in here, we have the pool bathroom. They use the same pool coping tile as a back bowl here. Gives it a nice contrast. We have a vanity set up here and the water closet on that side. Now, let's go back out and let's go back to the entry of this home because we kind of left this cool part of the home to the backyard. We're back at the entry and let's take these steps. You guys saw it on the inside. Third floor of this home has a very unique roof line and an architectural design. And we can kind of see that roof line over here. This is the low end. Right below me is the family room. And as we go to the corner, elevation picks up. And this is an amazing, observation deck for this property this is the highest point and i mean views are amazing first off it's extremely quiet and peaceful here beautiful landscaping we can see all the treetops from here also speaking of views you can even see the getter center from here which is amazing while we are here you can actually look down towards the incredible pool area outdoor seating space i mean what can i say it's an amazing home beautiful architecture and a great outdoor space now let's take the staircase Go down to the second floor and check out all the bedrooms. All right, everyone, let's go check out the second floor. By the way, same board from concrete wall comes down to this level as well, and we have a beautiful floating staircase design here. Each one of the threads are bolted into this concrete wall and they even have nice LED lighting underneath. It gives that nice industrial look. Right behind me, we have the glass assembly here looking towards this retaining wall and the patio space. We're gonna talk about that later. Also, shout out to the architect of this home, Eric Rosen, for doing such an amazing job. I'm so impressed with this house. And we have the first bedroom on this level right here. It's nice and spacious. We have the king size bed position on this side, built-in closets right there. So, Mikey, can we get a close-up right here? I wanna talk about this detail because it's really important. Since we are on the lower level, we are basically subterranean at this point, but the architect wanted all the bedrooms to get natural light. So instead of building this bedroom off of the retaining wall, they created this outdoor space right here, which allows this bedroom to get natural light, have its own private patio space, not to mention, from your bed, you get to look at this really unique wall texture right here. Gives a ton of privacy for the bedroom. And overall, it's just a unique architecture. Yeah, you're missing a little, a little detail though. The marble? The marble, that's right. They take that same marble from the interior. I, I don't miss it. They, they wrapped even on the overhang <laughs> as well. I don't miss anything. I don't miss anything. Well, that's the marble that I pointed out off of the entry. Yeah, exactly. And yeah, that corner right there is where we have the walkway. But overall, it's such a unique design and you even get a sliding pocket doors right here. Again, spacious bedroom. You have the hardwood floors and this pocket door right here. I have a hard time opening it up. There you go. Opens up to the bathroom design. We have nice marble mosaic floors. We have the walk-in shower built out of Carter marble and the same marble continues as a back wall where we have the floating vanity design. Now, let's go back to the landing of the second floor. On my left hand side, we have the seating area and the primary bedroom. Before we go there, follow me this way because we have some rooms to tour. We have a hallway closet here, laundry room on my right hand side where we have the sink, some base cabinets, 
and two washers and two dryers. And this one opens up the smaller guest suite with its own bathroom. Now, as we go back, we have some built-ins on this side, a little bit of a desk setup here. Nice convenience to have. Staircase going down to the lower level where we have the movie theater. And as we go in, it's where we have the third bedroom. This one is facing the back side of the property. It's again, very spacious. We have a nice built-in kind of a desk stand feature over here, which looks really cool and different. Overall, it's a good size room. I like this design, it's kind of unique. It's probably one of their kids' rooms. And we have a little bit of a seating area here. Casement design on the right for some ventilation. Mike, you look at these Vs. Isn't that amazing? From your bed, this is what you look at every day. Yeah, just pure green out there. Pure green, corner glass, seamless design, automatic shades throughout. We have the built-in closets right here. And of course, this room also has a beautiful full bathroom. We have the marble countertops, floating vanity design. Even the back walls are nicely clad with marble. You even get a little picture window here. And of course, gorgeous walk-in shower built out of Carrara marble. Very nice. Very nice. All right, let's go back to the hallway. And right here off of the landing of the second floor, we have the access to the fourth bedroom, I believe, on this level right now. Let's check out the built-in closets real quick. We have the bathroom right here. Just like the other bathrooms, we have the same mosaic marble floors here, Carrara marble back walls, floating vanity design with the marble countertops, and of course, good size walk-in shower with chrome fixtures. Now let's go through the bedroom. This is not a bedroom that is facing the back of the property. We have the bed situated on this side, ceiling mount, swing chair, and another corner glass detail. Now we're back at the landing. We have a bit of a seating area, dining area here, door opening up to the outdoors, and a nice family room off of the second floor. Built-ins on this side, comfortable seating, sliding glass door opening up to the balcony space off of this level. Of course, we have the automatic shades, recess lights, built-in speakers, all that good stuff. Now, this pivot door opens up to the primary bedroom. Come on in. So this primary bedroom is divided into two sections. We have this office slash seating area over here, and we have the bedroom situated on the other side. This is a good size space. We have a table over here, currently staged as an office, more built-ins, sliding glass doors, stacking on that side, opening up to the outdoor space. Bring in ton of natural light. We have more built-ins on this side. And speaking of built-ins, there's a detail here I would like to show. This looks like a regular um, cabinetry, right? Whoa. Is that like a panic room? Panic room, little space where you can put your safe. Hold on, let me just get a little peek in there. Oh, that's cool. It goes back behind. Wow, that's the first. Yeah, there you go. I wanted to show this little detail. So they have a heavy duty hinge on that side. There you go, just like that. Overall, this is a great space that complements the bedroom. Now let's go up. We also have a doggy door over here. Wanted to mention that. Beautiful hardwood floors. Now here we are at the bedroom. We have the king size bed situated on this side. Nice paneled back wall. And bed is focused towards amazing views because we have this pocketing door and stacking on the wall over there opening up to the balcony space. Also, we have the gas fireplace here, recessed in TV, additional outdoor access. Mikey, can we show this outdoor space real quick? We have a nice ceiling mount swing chair here. It's all for the primary bedroom. And I just realized actually, we even have transit windows over here and they brought the same natural stone that is cladding the fireplace. They brought it to the outside as well with the exposed steel columns. Now let's go inside. Bedroom is situated here, and as we take this hallway, we have two closets for the primary bedroom. This is the first one. This one has more of the darker tones, and as we go in here, we have the water closet on this side, floating vanity design, and I really like this wooden sink design that they have. Overall, good size walk-in closet and a bathroom combination. Now, as we go back, we have the secondary closet slash bathroom here. This one is a little bit more spacious, a little bit more of the uh, lighter tones. We have the vanity setup and all that here, but before we do that, Michael, let's go inside right here. This is where we have the massive walk-in shower. I'm assuming this is onyx, so it's either onyx or marble. It's clad with 
the stone throughout. We have double of everything, steam, and you even get a nice casement window for some ventilation. Now, let's go back in this bathroom. This is a really unique bathroom design. It's a kind of just closet bathroom combo. Right? Let's start with the floors. Speaking of unique, uh, they have this nice inlaid design here. Plenty of cabinetry. I really like this vanity design actually. So the, it starts off with a wood cabinetry, transitions into the countertop with wall sconces, and the same countertop was also used to fabricate this end of this uh, vanity design here. Yeah, it's really, unique. really nice. Nice soaker tub. Picture window looking towards the backyard, automatic shades, and lastly, water closet here. Nice spacious bathroom. That's it for the second floor. Now let's go take the stairs and go check out the lower level where we have the movie theater. All right, let's tour the last floor. We have the movie theater here. What I like about this space is it's tucked nicely underneath the home. So it's away from all the bedrooms and common areas. We have the screen position on this side, comfortable seating, Initially, when I first toured this place, I thought that these were just, you know, couch setups. But then I realized every single one of these seats, they're actually motorized. Yeah, those look really nice. I and really, I really I, like the color too. I really like that uh, those wood panels behind you. I think they kind of uh, double purpose as a little art piece and as a sound diffuser. But they look really cool. I agree. It kind of picks the architectural lines of the home. Yeah, it's a nice touch. Overall, this is a great space. We have the projector right here. A little bit of a mini bar, and this door opens up to actually a full bathroom with a walk-in shower. Lastly, we have the sliding glass doors uh, opening up to the outdoor space. In fact, let's go check out that backyard. All right, everyone, we're back at the second floor, actually. This is where we have the seating area. And the elevation is picked up by this deck space here, walls of glass. This is where we have the office for the primary bedroom. I mentioned the staircase design, but now you guys get a little bit of a better uh, point of view to look at this. But overall, phenomenal design. I love the board form concrete core, and I really like this cantilever design as well, so I wanted to mention that. Now, we have this level here. Keep in mind, this is a sloping lot, so we're gonna see different elevations and a lot of different outdoor spaces and landings like this one. As we go down, we have another uh, landing area here and they terrace this backyard beautifully with landscaping and these wood retaining walls like this one. Overall, they were trying to maximize the usage of this lot and blend in with the landscaping. Now, let's go downstairs. As we're going down, we have these walkways taking us to the east side of the property. This one goes to the left-hand side, and this one actually takes you up to the movie theater patio space. We also have outdoor lighting here, and they take advantage of this hillside and beautifully landscaped it. And now we're at the bottom of the backyard. What I like about the design of the home is they took advantage of this sloping lot by positioning the house above, where you take advantage of the views, and down below you get all this privacy and this flat backyard. I mean, look at this space. This is insane. What do you think, Mikey? Yeah, it's really cool. And something about looking up at the house from this angle, uh, it just, it, it, it looks it looks incredible. It looks I know. really cool. I mean, this house, I don't know if this is the right way to say it, but it kind of looks like a spaceship. It's so modern and... It's like a spaceship Bond villain house. It's great. I love it. I mean, all that glass, the reflections, the concrete, the smooth stucco. That's why we came out here to tour this place and share it with all of you. I mean. Phenomenal property. And it comes with this incredible flat pad space right here. We're in the middle of Brentwood. We're minutes away from the heart of the city and you get all this privacy in the space. And that's it's, not all. That's not all, exactly. Let's continue our tour. So it's also nicely landscaped, super private. And as we go down here, check this out. Has a basketball slash tennis court. How amazing is that? Yeah, wow. As if that flat backyard, all the outdoor spaces and the amazing architecture wasn't enough, you even get a basketball court. My name is Santiago Arana with the agency. I'm the listing agent of this incredible architectural piece. One of the most amazing things of this architect, Eric Rosen, who built and designed this house is 
The incredible approach is from, from the street you could never guess that is this magnitude of a house. As you walk into the property, you only see green and roofs and angles. And then you have beautiful, huge sycamores, eucalyptus and beautiful trees all around the property, which gives you that privacy and that sense of like being in your own space. The house has two different personalities. You have a daytime personality of the house where you have these incredible walls of light, right? It's all glass from everywhere. You have like skylights, glass, doors, they open and disappear. And you, you know, basically your walls disappear. But if you come at night, the architect was also very genius on all the landscaping lighting and all the detail lighting in, in the specific spots, pointing sculptures, water features, pool, fire pits. So when you come at night, the house really changes personalities, you know, everything becomes a life that you don't really notice in the day and you don't need to notice in the day because you have nature out there, you have the views, you have all the things that the daytime offer you. But even at night is great because you literally have the Getty Center right there. That building is one of the biggest landmarks we have in LA. So as you walk into this property at night, you'll pick up on that beautiful site and you'll see the fire pit on and the lights on the pool and all the detailed landscape lights and you just, the house kind of becomes alive, it's beautiful. Alright guys, that's it for the tour. What an incredible property. I love the architecture and all the stone, glass and steel elements that they use throughout. For that, I really want to thank the listing agent, Santiago Arana, for allowing us to tour his amazing listing and share it with all of you. More information about the property and the property link will be down in the description. Make sure to check that out. And I hope everybody enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give us a like if you have any questions or input. As always, leave us a comment down below. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel, even hit the notification bell. With that, Thank you all so much for watching and we'll see you guys next week. <laughs>